Hey guys, welcome back to the James Bond Show. I'm your host, Crazy Kajivi. Alright guys, so I've got a really, really interesting one for you tonight. <sighs> okay, this is the wokest James Bond film ever, according to the Daily Mail. Because Daniel Craig has just filmed a commercial, it's just been released, and it is Daniel Craig as James Bond sitting at a bar, and the bartender comes up to him and he pushes a vodka martini towards him and he's like and then points over to a alcoholic free Heineken 0.0 well I tell you what if Eon and Daniel Craig they all want to keep this up the box office takings as well as James Bond's code number in No Time To Die is going to be Zero, zero, zero. Because it ain't zero, zero, seven. And this thing ain't even going to get to 700 million. I'm telling you. Okay, guys. So, it's from the Daily Mail. I'm going to put the article. I'm going to link it into the description section below. Now, responsible driving. Responsible driving is great. Anyone. Look, I'm going to be honest. Anyone that drinks alcohol and drives is a complete douchebag. I mean, you would have to be a knob to do that. The risk of other people, of potentially killing people. So I get it. And and I get that they want to push a kind of safe message. And certain industries and companies want to do that. I get it. But James Bond, for me, is not the vehicle to do this. And the article has taken such, <coughs> excuse me, such an opportunity, and Daily Mail here has taken such an opportunity to absolutely pile everything woke into the one article, not just about this beer commercial. Can you call beer beer when it's not alcoholic? Like, is it actually beer? I mean, it's like, you see at the supermarkets now, chicken strippies, and you look at it and you're like, what? And then it's in the corner, 100% plant-based chicken. Okay, so it's not chicken. Because if it doesn't come from a chicken, it kind of ain't chicken. And I think this is the James Bond plant-based version. And remember, Barbara Broccoli said that she wanted this film to represent Me Too, or at least be aware of it. Now, the article goes on to say that Phoebe Waller-Bridge was brought in to really push the Me Too elements of the script. Now, what's alarming is, even though they've thrown everything in there again, including um, Madeline not taking James Bond's name because she's a strong, fierce, independent woman. No, well, it looks like she's a screwy Louie, actually. Um, but what gets me about this article is there's more information from Naomi Harris, who really pushes that the film's plot is completely driven by the four strong, independent women. Like, it's really being pushed. And Naomi Harris says it's all about them. They push the plot. Is this a Bond film? Is this actually a James Bond film? Or is this, like, Charlie's Angels? Eon, did you not learn... Did you not learn from Charlie's Angels, guys? Come on. No one went to see it. I'm, I'm going to... You know what? I'll tell you what. With my Rise of Skywalker prediction, that prediction was by the third week, the film would not even get to $700 million and it would really falter. That is exactly what's happened with a 56% drop in box office takings. And I'm sticking to my box office predictions with No Time to Die. I really believe the constant advertisement, especially this close to the film, is really hurting box office potential. Now, I'll tell you one thing. When you go into the article, which I'm going to leave the link for, the, <laughs> the, the best bit about it is, okay, the best bit is the comments. Now, I'm going to get to the comments in a second. You'll see why I'm doing this. Because within the article, there's a source... A person that says the James Bond fans were so happy 
with Phoebe Wallerbridge and Praising Wallerbridge and Larry Larry Lunchbox. And, oh, give me some grub. I want some fried chicken. <laughs> so, so, so this source said that the James Bond fans were really happy with the trailer because it showed independent strong women. Who the feck are these fans? Who are these fans? Please, who are these fans? And now let's go back to the comments. If you go through the comments, and they're better than the article, you go through the comments, you'll see people going, who are these James Bond fans that is that's saying that this is what they want? And one person in a supposed Twitter post that's in the article, so the article talks about this person on Twitter or whatever format it was, saying that, oh, with Phoebe Waller-Bridge writing, writing and Lashana Lynch in this, I'm going to see my first 007 film at the cinema. It says it all, guys. This person is going to see their first 007 film. Listen, the people that have that voted Hillary Clinton, the people that are going to vote Joe Biden or Pete Butt gay, as I call him, Bouddhage, butt gay, whatever. <laughs> right? Those people and the soy drinkers, the soy latte drinkers, the vegan burger eaters, the cheese noodles, these type of people, they don't go and see James Bond films. They're not going to go and see this film. So when this article is trying to, well, the source is trying to push that. The woke crowd are now supporting Bond and getting behind Bond. Well, you know what, guys? Bing, 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 bing. Bullshit. Complete bullshit. Bond fans are not behind this at all, so do not be fooled. And notice they don't put a name to these people, these people that are supporting it and going to go and see it. Tell you what, if they put a name there, I'd be looking them up on Facebook and sending them a letter. Well, why not? And, you know, share some love. Why not? Why not? So, guys, <laughs> I would love to know in the comments below what your ideas are next for Daniel Craig, who obviously needs a dollar. <laughs> what your ideas are for him for his next commercial? I'm thinking tampon adverts. I mean, if they don't pull out a tampon advert with Bond in it, he could like walk across like the gun barrel. And instead of a gun, he's got a tampon, and he flicks a tampon out. That could work. What about oh, vegan burgers? He's got to do something for vegan burgers. What about tofu? A tofu commercial? A bit of protein in the old tofu? What else, guys? I mean, seriously, next they're going to have him on stage with Joe Biden, like, sniffing some little girl's hair, going, For Joe and go work. I'm double O, bro. Uh, <laughs> So guys, let me know in the comments below what you what you think Daniel Craig should be advertising next. And go and check out the article and let me know what you think of it below. And uh, I can't wait to read your comments. And don't forget, guys, if you like these naughty, naughty bow, content, like, subscribe, all that stuff down below. And until next time, guys, keep on bonding. And say hi to your mum for me. Oh, what a pistol! <laughs>